Allen Ginsberg and, all, and Ann Waldman are such well-known writers, and to think that they started this, right? When they were younger, they started, well, how can we create an alternative space for poetry? And this was way before MFA programs, right? Way before people were thinking of kind of, um, you know, creating sort of the, this professionalization of poetry, thinking how can we create a space that would invite different people with you know different viewpoints and and also outriders, right? I mean, I think Ann Waldman talks about this in the description. You know, people who may not have been mainstream or kind of maybe marginalized writers to some extent were writing things that um, were sort of pushing the envelope to sort of create a space um, for what was happening in the forefront of poetry. Right? I mean, it seems it was marginal, but it was really at the forefront because, because it's become sort of defining work, the work that, um, that Ann Waldman and Allen Ginsberg were doing and you know, that group around them that were sort of thinking outside of the box. The spirit of that is still here, is about sort of bringing together um, a diverse group of people to discuss poetry, to discuss fiction, to discuss hybrid genres, and also to not kind of separate all of those things as they often are, right? Where there's like the poetry panel or the fiction panel or there's the separate conferences. And, and I feel that there's a, a kind of holistic approach, not in, just in the sense of that all the arts speak to each other in some way, but also the, the spiritual aspect, the holistic approach of acknowledging that the body and mind uh, work together.